So a few days ago, Claude Anthropic launched a new feature called Skills. And this is potentially really exciting for everybody who wants to do more with AI. And basically these skills are offering us a way to have brand guidelines, really specific frameworks and custom instructions built into Claude. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up your own skills without doing any development work or coding. And also I'm going to show you a few use cases for marketers like myself and at the end I'm also giving my opinion on if I'm going to keep using it or staying with my other tools. So keep watching. So first, if you want to use this feature, you have to be on the pro plan, which is $17 per month if you're on an annual plan and $20 per month if you want to use the monthly plan. So keep this in mind. But if you are already a pro user of Claude, here's how you can access this feature. So you have to go to your settings here and then you have to go to the capabilities and here first you need to enable this code execution and file creation part here. and then it opens up this skills part here. By default everything is going to be disabled so I have already enabled some of the skills because I was testing it out. So a bunch of those skills are already made by Claude and you can test them but I didn't find them that useful. But the main one that you want to use is this skill creator skill. So really meta I know but basically turn this on and then try it in chat. And this opens up this new chat window where it basically just references the skill creator skill. And here you can just say what you want a skill to do and it creates a zip file. And let me show you how I created my first skill here. So basically I wanted to see how well it does graphs using my brand colors and brand fonts. So something that would be actually useful in my everyday work as a marketer. So I just said to this skill maker skill that I want to create a skill that repurposes my YouTube video scripts because that's the input I'm using with all of my marketing workflows. And I want this to turn it into graphs with my brand colors and fonts. And I also want to pick between in four different concepts from that video transcript that could be visualized. So I also said that my brand color is pink, but I only gave it my headshot with a pink background because I couldn't quickly find the exact color code. So I gave it an additional test. And I also said that my brand font is pop-ins and I want to use all capital letters in the headings. So this is pretty clear and simple. And then the skill maker skill took all of this information and it took like 10 minutes at least to go through all of this information to figure out what the exact pink color is, what the font is and all that. And then it generated this YouTube video graph or a zip file. And it also created one example graph that I can check here. So basically that's it. So it's using my font with all capital letters and it's using my pink color as well, which is great. So it seemed like it's working pretty well. So then I just downloaded the YouTube video graph as zip file. This is already in the correct format. You don't need to do any coding or anything. So that part is pretty good that they added that skill maker skill there. And once I had it downloaded, I had to go back to the settings and then to the capabilities. And here you have to upload a new skill and you just drop this zip file here and it automatically enables it and adds to this list of skills here. And that's how you start using it. So once you go back to a chat interface, you have to reference that skill or here you can directly click on these three dots and open up the try and chat feature. So basically that's what I did here. So I referenced the new YouTube video graphers skill and I said, here's my video transcript. So basically it should now know that I want to see four different concepts based on the transcript that I pasted here and I want these visualized with my brand colors and fonts. And that's exactly what it did. It came up with four different graphs. And once I look at them, this is the first one. This is the second one. This is the third one. And this is the fourth one. Looks pretty impressive. But here's the problem. The video transcript that I used was about this best marketing strategy in 2026, where I talked about uh, doing videos, basically building your founder brand just by doing short form videos every day and keeping a consistent publishing schedule as the absolutely laziest way to grow your business. And in that video, it's not about the numbers. Uh, I only mentioned the 100 day consistency thing, but it's not something that makes sense to show on a graph like this one. And here on this graph, it's making up some totally random numbers. And here 
expect a business growth, I don't mention this at all in the video. So it's just making up data and information that's not there. And this is a big problem. This means that even though it looks nice with my pink color, I'm not able to use this data. I'm not able to use these images. So this whole thing is totally pointless, but I didn't give up there. So I decided to go back and improve that skill. So maybe it just needed better instructions. So how you can do that, you just have to find that original chat. For me, it's this one. And then I added another prompt to it. So I said, I want this to use different graph types and sometimes there isn't even data, but I just want the concept to visualize to explain it better. I don't want you to ever make up facts that are not in the transcript. So I'm being super clear about this. And then Claude took some time and it created a new skill zip file. And it also gave some example charts. So now instead of bar charts, I'm also getting a pie chart and the diagram as well. So far, so good. So again, uh, you have to download the zip file and go back to the settings. And here you just first need to delete that old skill and then upload the new one and start using this then. So that's exactly what I did. And then I went ahead and I opened up the new chat window and I used their default prompt, which is, hey Claude, I just added the YouTube video graph skill. So this is the updated skill now. And I also pasted my transcript here already. So I thought like it must know what I want to get. So four graphs or visualizations are coming up, but no, it asked me a few questions. Do I want to analyze this transcript and create four graphics for me? Or I was just letting Claude know about the new skill for future use, which is weird. So of course I said, my answer is number one. I want to actually skill to do the thing I asked it to do. So then it took the same transcript. He came up with concepts and then it asked, uh, do I want to visualize those concepts? So again, I had to now say yes. So I don't know why it now started second guessing everything. I, I expected it to already know based on the instructions that are inside the skills documents, what I want to get. So why all the questions, Claude? But okay, I said yes, I want the visualizations. So it went through the whole thing and it created four graphs of visualizations for me. So now checking this out, this is the first one, the five minute daily video process, record video, upload that caption, publish, repeat in five steps. This is kind of good, but as you can see, again, some problems. So this part is cut off here. Again, I don't want to go into Canva or some other tools, to try to fix this graph that isn't that great to start with. Then also the repeat daily thing is understandable, but the whole like arrow here looks weird. So these small things kind of drive me crazy about AI outputs. I don't want to go and do any edits if I'm using AI to visualize something, but okay, let's check the other pictures. So this is the second one. So it talks about the 100 day commitment to growth. The key is consistency every single day. This is correct information. So day zero is the start week two or three, there's a challenge and you feel like quitting. Um, yeah, this is actually good. And then day hundred is the milestone and the result is growth. So I think this chart is actually usable. The font is super small down here, so I'm not super sure, but I think this is the closest I have gotten to being happy with the output and maybe using it in my everyday work. But let's see the next one as well. And so the last one is AI content planning workflow problem, define your ICP. Okay, this is weird. It doesn't make sense. Why are the arrows going that way? It should go from the problem to defining your ICP. So the other way around. So again, I appreciate that it's using my brand colors and the fonts, but it just doesn't make sense and I won't use it. So at least with this use case, not happy. But I wanted to check out some other like simpler use cases because AI outputs with graphs, infographics, images have always been so inconsistent that I rarely use them. So next I tried out a newsletter creation from video transcript. This is something I'm usually doing with this content automation workflow. This is built in make.com and I'm triggering this from Airtable and you can go back in my channel and see how I have built all of this. And if you want to get these blueprints, join AIMarketingmasters.com. But what I wanted to show you here is the newsletter post that I'm automatically creating based on my transcript, just by choosing this one action here. And the output is really useful for me. And of course I need to do edits here, but I also have to add images to make it more usable. So I was thinking I'm going to try out the same prompts that I have stored here in make.com in the AI modules and see how the outputs compare to mine here. And so for this, again, I went to this skill creator skill. I opened up the new chat with a prompt 
And then here at first it says that the fault, hey Claude, I just added the skill creator skill, can you make something amazing with it? So this is always added by default. And then I just added that I want to give you a video transcript and I want you to create the newsletter automatically from this based on my requirements. And then I added the exact prompts that I'm using here in my make.com automation. I'm using open router module, but this module is actually using Claude Sonnet 4.5. So here I just copied my prompt that says what my name is, what I want to cover in this newsletter and how it's supposed to be all based on a video transcript. And then I also have a system prompt here that's all about humanizing the AI writing style. So this is a really long prompt that I'm using almost every time. I copied both of these prompts here. So first, this is the user prompt. And then I also added the style guide that was pasted here. And basically Claude now created a new skill for me. I downloaded it here. And then again, the same process. I went here on the settings capabilities page. I uploaded the skill and it opened it up here and enabled it. And so now to use the skill again, I clicked on the three dots icon and tried it out in a chat. And now in this new chat, I also get this default, hey Claude, I just added this video newsletter writer skill. And I also added, please create a newsletter based on the video transcript. And then I pasted the video transcript here. And throughout this experiment, I've used the same video transcript all the time. And then it created the newsletter draft for me. This is actually the second version already. In the first version, I didn't have the images. I just had the text. And I compared the output of this with my content system here. And I have to say, I really prefer the output that I have here. And since this is also using Claude Sonnet 4.5, I have no clue where the difference comes from. So it should be really similar because it's using all the same prompts here and with the Claude skills as well, but the output is so different, especially the text part. But I was like, whatever, let's also see if it can combine the skills. So I also asked Claude to please also add graphs inside the newsletter where appropriate. Use the skill that creates graphs. Fortunately, this time it was able to then go and find the other skill that I created before to create those graphs. And it created four graphs for me as well. And then it added those graphs at the end of this chat window. And it also updated this document to show image here. But if I click on it, nothing happens, it's empty. So it doesn't work. So the only practical way to use this is to copy this whole text and then check if the images are worth it, download them and upload them to another document or whatever tool I'm using for the newsletter. But let's see how the graphs even look like. So the five minute daily video search, you record, add caption, publish, repeat, repeat next day. Yeah, it's all correct. I don't see any obvious mistakes. So I could use this, but at the same time, it's not mind blowingly engaging. So let's check the next one. Okay, day one, habit forms, day 50, push through, day 100, as results show. Before zero visibility, after uh, the three times business growth. Okay, I could basically use this as well. Uh, third one, your video. Okay, I don't like this because the text is too close to this graph, so I wouldn't use it. And the last one is the risk versus reward equation, worst case. But why is there no header for the best case scenario? So again, these small things drive me crazy. So I wouldn't get to use this one. So the verdict. I honestly wouldn't use it. I upgraded Claude again just to try it out. But honestly, I've been using genspark.ai for everyday AI questions and tasks that I'm doing. And even though I love Claude when I'm using it on the API side and I'm doing my automations, I don't think I will use this one. Of course, if you already have a Claude Pro plan and you're using it daily and you have your project set up, you're a power user, you can definitely do something really valuable with this. But if you're just thinking about upgrading to a Claude Pro plan just for this feature, I don't think it's worth it. I think it's more valuable if you learn to build automations like this one. Of course, it doesn't have to be this big and complicated. You can do simple stuff, but the outputs are going to be way more consistent and reliable because you're going to set up really specific prompts and dynamic elements that keep changing once you add more information. And I do feel like uh, there's more reliability needed in the AI world anyway, and automations will give that reliability in outputs. Not all the time, but more than this skills feature. But of course, this technology will keep improving. At one point, it makes sense to do maybe everything in Cloud or ChatGPT, whatever your favorite one is. But for now, I don't think based on the outputs that it's worth it, that it's usable, at least for marketing use cases where you can't make that many mistakes and you have to build 
trust and you have to have reliable tools and reliable content going out. So keep it if you are already a power user and a pro plan owner, but otherwise not worth it. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you next week. Bye.